What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial dinosaur today. We got Nasutoceratops from Jurassic World Dominion. Um, this is like a Triceratops, but different. So, um, I have a landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser, and hit pause if I go too fast. So, let's start with the eye. So, <clears throat> set the point to my page about here. Just come over a little bit to the right, right? Because he's got these big, this big... Um, like crown sort of on the back you know this big shield sort of on the back of their heads so we're gonna start about here so middle point is there i'm just gonna go over to the right a little bit and we're gonna start with his eye top eyelid down like that okay bottom eyelid goes around down into there. And then iris and pupil. So it's kind of like a big iris. Curls around here. Come up to there. And then the pupil. Big round pupil as well. And if you want, you can color this black. And sometimes it's good to leave like a white dot. Just in the corner there. Makes it look a bit more realistic. So then there's all these lines that go around the eye, right? So eyelid lines like coming around like this, right? All these wrinkles and stuff going around the eye, bags or under the eye. Like that. Another couple of layers of this. This kind of stuff. Right. And the eye in like a lot of dinosaurs is like sunken into the like they've got these sort of bones that come around, right? So there's like a bone here and a bone like here, right? And that's defined sort of by these sort of lines like this, right? And another one sort of coming around here. Going around the eye. And more wrinkles inside here. So light goes around like so. So it's like an, it's inside an eye socket sort of thing. I kind of like that. And then, so the snout, right? So there's kind of like some wrinkles that go this way, right? It'll bring you up to the snout, go around the snout like this. Right, up here. It's about this distance again, right? We'll bring you up to where his sort of snout starts. And this has some shields on it, like some armor. Right, like this kind of thing. And this will run the whole way down then. It's beak. Like that. So he's got like a big pointy beak for a face. And the beak sort of sticks out like this. And the bottom of it will curve around here. Kind of like a bird's beak. You want to put some texture lines on it, like this kind of stuff, just following the shape. Some texture lines on these as well, just to show that they're kind of bony. Things like that, right? <clears throat> so the mouth is open, so the beak on the bottom. So we've got, sort of comes out from here. You've got this point that kind of comes around there, and then we bring it back up into the corner of the mouth, somewhere there, and then we'll go back up to here, 
and then you might see some of the tongue just there and the side of the face on the other side like his cheek just here and then again give texture Like so. So then the bottom of the face will go this way and I kind of curve, right? So his chin will curve down to the jaw and back up. It's kind of this bumpy line, right? He's a massive face. There's all details inside here, right? So up here, right, we meet this bone. Sticks off here. And it kind of bumps around into there, right? And this will have all texture in here. So, like I said, so there's like a bone here, right? So the other side of that, so this is like a bone that goes runs up his face, right? And the other side of that bumps around here. There's like this sort of section of the face like that. So this has, this will have like you know wrinkles and stuff. like this and you can do as much of that sort of texture stuff as you'd like really like you're just trying to make his face look like real wrinkly but it's kind of optional how much you do you could leave it completely non-textured and just color as well that's an option so in here then we have his nostril it's kind of like a raindrop sort of shape like that, and you just color the inside dark. And then more texture and wrinkles and stuff, right? So like say the back of his mouth, will have all these wrinkles and texture like going down his jaw. All sort of, you know, circles and skin lines and all these wrinkles here. Right, like that. You can do as much of that as you want. And then just thicken up this line just to make it stand out a little bit more from the texture. Right, so that's the front half of the face, right? So then we have these like horns up here sticking this way and then the big shield that goes back. So we'll do the horns up here first. So just above the eye, we'll do this sort of curved line, right? Just going up this way. And then the horn sort of curves around like so. And the inside of it kind of goes that way. There's like texture and all this sort of stuff here. So the horn will spike up, curving way up to the top of the middle page, like big bull horns now, massive. Like so. And then there's like texture on all of that. So just following. Like so. And then the next one comes out from behind it. So it goes this way. around the top and then we go back down and into his head just there and of course there's these uh, like skin sections where it all like goes in grows into his head kind of that thing there another one here just joins the eye sort of area and go around the back of his head 
And again, I want skin and texture, and that's the thing with dinosaurs, you know, lots of sort of textures and stuff. And so I'm like going up this way as well. And texture on the horn here. Like so. Do, 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 do. Sometimes thickening up your edge lines helps. Just making the outside line a little bit heavier or a little bit darker than the inside lines can help things. Just makes your texture lines look a bit smaller, like a bit finer. Just makes it more visually interesting. I think, anyway. Oops. So, next. That shield at the back of the head, right? So, it bumps all the way around, right? It's real big. It goes, it reaches all the way back here, right? So, we'll go around. And on the bottom of each one, there's like a spike. So, a spike here. I don't know if that's what goes out and around and all the way back in up here. So like it goes back in up at the horn, so like a fan. So it goes here and at, e and at the end of each of these bumps, there's one of these spikes. Right? That's what we got so far. And they kind of get, <clears throat> these are real far apart and you get like closer together as you go around. Let me this one go. Let me just get the general shape in and then go back for detail. Right, like that. And then we'll add sort of a horn on the end of each one. Or like a spike. There should be another one here, I think. Smaller one. Right, and then, so we got to just like kind of show the bones of the head and the horn and all this kind of stuff. So we've got like this sort of bone wrinkling down this way. And then going this way as well into the head, and then it kind of a line that comes around. So lots of this stuff now going around like this, and like up the head here. So there's like all these bones that are inside his skull as well. Kind of go up this way, like all this stuff coming across lots of wrinkles then as well so lots of that texture and it's all colored different there's like these patterns inside so it depends on what colors you want to do there's like there's like a white sort of bump it's like a butterfly sort of thing. That's what it reminds me of. You know, lots of texture and but of course you do that with color mostly. Right, so that's like a big bone. Yeah, so that's his head basically. So we'll just add the neck. Um, so it comes down from his chin kind of here. We can't see a lot of it. Neck there, like wrinkly sort of neck lines underneath. 
like some wrinkles going down this way. So you're curving these lines, right? So you, like you're sort of trying to understand the shape of things. So you like the way I did there. So this thing like bumps. So I add like a curved texture line. It's not like straight, it's like slightly curved. Same thing on the neck. So you want to like curve your textures. It helps sort of define the shape. It's like a little trick. So like you have lines going that way, and then lines going that way. So it just makes it look a bit more three dimensional. I think it's a vector is what it's actually called. You know, imagine if it was like, you know, if it was a 3D model and you could, all you could see was those like green lines that you see like in the matrix or something, you know, bumping over each section. That's kind of what you're doing when you're doing something like that, you know, you're adding this grid. Anyway, <laughs> um, so then shoulder and then it's back or belly. And it just goes down this way. You see, you can't see much of it, but this is like the shoulder here. And then the belly kind of goes back. Or his back just here. Right, and then just darken up this edge. And I think there's skin here as well, so something else. So maybe some armpits or lines here. And it's like neckline and shoulder, like that. And do, 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 do. Right, that's it. That is how to draw Nasu To Sarah Thompson. <laughs> Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.